Hello, everyone. Welcome to WGSN DB Going Solo Network. We are so pleased to be here with you today. We are the number one internet singles talk network. And we're on this special show. It's called Going Solo Life After Relationship Loss, where we actually focus on really recovering from you know, the devastation of either, um, you know, being by death or by divorce. And so we really try to help move you forward to, to, you know, the light, to really finding and defining your new life as you choose. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk a little bit about that today. But before we start, I want to share a little bit about myself. I am Cece Chess. I'm fondly called the doyen of relationship building. I'm a divorce dating and a life coach connecting single throughout the Going Solo Network um, for many years. You can just look on goingsolonetwork.com. I've really helped people make that transition uh, through being single and through the, the, uh, the transition of dating, dating, travel, singles, and business and all of that. I really connect you in a thriving and surviving your new life. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do, I want to give you my contact information because I absolutely love your emails. So just email me at going solo network at gmail.com. Of course, all of our media is right there on going solo media.com. And we are really very pleased in which to uh, be with you here today. But let's do our disclaimer because we can't start the show without it. Does nothing discussed today constitutes a mental religious, legal, and or financial advice. Should you seek advice, consult with a professional directly. But we're going to move on to helping you through. We're going to talk about survive and thrive after divorce. And I have my wonderful elite guest with me here, Donna McGough. Well, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Cece. I'm so pleased to be here. This is wonderful. Survive and thrive. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we love having you. Well, Donna, you help women and men, some men, um, to rapidly move beyond divorce by working through the results-driven process designed to empower them to embrace a new beginning, creating a new life on their own terms. And I love that because that is all about surviving and thriving, really moving forward, um, really understanding where you are today, what you know what you want for your future and understanding that those um things that happen to you are going to evolve right yes Um, so you are just an expert in that so let's talk a little bit about your background and how you started being such a wonderful um coach and mentor for people well thank you cc i was in my former life i was a counselor and then my husband cheated on me and I got divorced and I tried so many things. I read self-help books. I joined groups and I even went to counseling. Well, that didn't really help me because I had gotten to the point where I was ready to move forward and I didn't want to grovel around in the past anymore. And then, so that was a big issue for me. And that's really the difference between uh, counseling I found and coaching because coaching says, okay, you're here. How do we move you over here? And so you kind of override those conflicted feelings just to make enough space inside. And I couldn't find that. So with my background experience and expertise, I decided to create my own plan of action to do that. And that's how my five-step process evolved. I started using it with others after I found success with myself. So it's just really important to learn how to change your mindset, because if you don't do that, it's really impossible to move forward in a healthy, prosperous way. That is so true. You know, so often we get stuck, right? That little voice in our head, um, you know, whenever we're we're struggling through a relationship loss and, you know, the would have, should have, could have type of thing. And it doesn't serve us, you know, because we are where we're at. And so until we can get to that place where we start realizing, okay, we are here. And so 
What are we going to do to be able to progress through it? What kind of life do we want? What is it that we want in our lives? And, and I do think that, and I know you and I have talked about this. I do think that you do have to understand the part you played in the demise of your relationship because you can't grow right without that. No, you need to. And that's a real important thing. Unless you're going to take responsibility for yourself. Um, many women that I've, I've worked with um, are in victim mode. And when you stay in victim mode, you don't take responsibility for where you are and how and how to move forward. And it's it's a comfortable place to be for a time. And sometimes it does serve you because it's a, a defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. But you can't stay there forever if you want to uh, survive and thrive and move, you know, move forward. Yeah, you are so right with that. So once you get to the point where you start understanding what got you there, right, then you can't keep on beating yourself up on it. You just have to start creating a change, creating a path for yourself. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that. How can one start to put things together to be able to start um, surviving and thriving? So do you have some tips for us today? Well, the first, the very first thing is you have to learn, like I said, you have to change your thinking. Mm-hmm. You have to begin to look at your situation from a different point of view, a different perspective. Because if you keep looking at it from the same perspective, you're going to continue to create the same actions and get the same results. And that's not what you want. And I know it sounds counterintuitive, But looking at your situation and looking for the good in it, because there is good in everything. If there's an up, there's a down. If there's an in, there's an out. Two sides of a coin. So you have to focus on looking on what is good about that. Like what lesson do you learn? For example, for me, it was um, for me, the lesson I learned in, in my own personal experience was that I always picked emotionally unavailable men. And that was a good lesson for me to learn because then I could take responsibility for moving myself out of playing the victim and do the work that I needed to do. So whatever, whatever you're thinking about, you know, that self-talk, that mind chatter, you need to look at it when it comes into your head right there, you stop it. If you can, it's a, it's a skill that you that you need to practice and learn. And it's not easy to do because we just, most of the time we just live by our senses, see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. Instead, and that, and that way the outside controls you. But when you begin to take control of yourself inside your mind, oh, I'm having that thought, you know, oh, he did this and he did that. And I feel like this and I feel, you know, when it starts and you get all caught up in it, stop, take a deep breath, Take a step back. Don't get involved with that self, that self-talk and the mind chatter. Pull yourself back. Take a breath. And don't get involved with it. And how can you look at it from a different perspective and focus on that? That's a real important. And another, another tip that I would say is if you can't do that and it's really hard for you, it's your inside will tell you. You know, you're having a, a terrible time and and all the thoughts are in there and all of a sudden you get uptight feeling in your in in the in the in the pit of your stomach or whatever wherever that's your trigger and that's the trigger to let you know that you have to change that thought whether it's an affirmation or what's good in it change the thought immediately because really it's a waste of energy and it's not really helping you to move forward. And they don't teach us things like that in school. I had to, uh, for many years, I've been studying the mind uh, with mentors and um, people that know uh, this higher level of thinking. And it's it's so important to begin to do that kind of thing when you have that trigger. Let's say you're walking down the street and you see a, a couple that's hold, you know, you're divorced and you see a couple that's holding hands and they're and they're um, talking to each other, and you can tell by their body language, it's wonderful. Well, that might trigger in your mind, oh, I used to have that kind of thing, and now I don't have it anymore. And all of a sudden, you start to feel uptight when you get home, and, and it's, it's that uncomfortable feeling. 
is an uncomfortable feeling and all you want to do is get rid of it. We've all had it, especially with eating. You know, you get that that stress inside and all you just want to do is get rid of it for the moment. So she might go home and dive into the refrigerator or maybe, you know, drink or whatever it is to relieve that. And that's how unhealthy habits and addictive behaviors come into play because not to deal with those in a, an appropriate way causes that. That's why when you begin to notice the trigger, um, it could be your, your palms get red, your face gets red, whatever it is, that's a signal for you to stop and change the thought. Because if you begin to try to do any kind of a process to help yourself move forward, if you don't have more of a clear mind, it you won't get there um, as fast as you really could. And you can use that with anything, any trauma. You know, take the focus. So yes, your life is the same. This is your problem right now. But if you take the focus off that and onto something that's more positive, you feel better. You have a better attitude. And you can begin to let other op uh, opportunities and possibilities come in that you might otherwise miss to help you to move forward. Yeah, I really love that. I mean, I think that that's a concrete advice because, you know, you can acknowledge right then, you can understand, okay, this is a trigger. Mm -hmm. I'm experiencing this. And often I've, I've told people that, you know, sometimes we think to ourselves, why do we feel the hurt? Why do we feel the pain? But the reality is it's because you're real, you know? And so you're going to feel that. I mean, what kind of person would you be if you were in a relationship with someone where you had love at one time and then you don't have it anymore, right? Things have happened. So of course you're going to go through this. Of course you're going to feel this. Be glad that you do feel something, that you that you haven't um, developed some sort of, you know, a negative attitude where you can just go through life and not mm -hmm. feel, um, not feel things. And so again then if you've got this concrete advice where okay i'm i'm feeling this why am i feeling this oh it's a trigger it's something that's happened to me and so you can acknowledge that and then you can again think about what your thoughts are start changing your thoughts start changing um the, your patterns that, of things that you've done and i like what you said about the very beginning is is because i think often we don't realize the patterns in our lives we don't realize things that we do that we keep doing over and over again and or, or we keep accepting. Right. Yes. And so um, I've heard that saying time and time again. And, you know, you have to show them how to treat you. Right. Because yes. if you don't show them how to treat you, they're going to treat you you know, badly. And then if you accept it, then you wonder why you're why you're still having the same kind of person in your life. And so I, I love the idea of what you said at the beginning about really starting to understand and, and dig into yourself as to what these feelings are, what you're experiencing. Don't be the victim, but understand where you're coming from. Then when you meet someone that's possibly similar, you'll say, oh yeah, okay, I get it. This is not, <laughs> you know. Not for me. This is not for me, you know. I, I you know, you're, and that's the thing is attraction is a very weird, weird thing thing you know you're attracted to people for a various different reasons and so you have to kind of break that mold of attraction too because it also is in turn sets with your pet with your patterns and so that it's a lot to learn and that there's a lot of steps to go with it and that's why it's important to have someone like yourself donna to be able to help walk you through that understanding because the more self-discovery we can make of ourselves the more at peace we'll be in our lives, right? And we'll be able to survive and thrive. And so that is so important. I, I really think you're you're on to something with the idea of um, you know really understanding yourself and working on your triggers and changing your mindset. So um, that's not always so easy to do. But I like what you said about you know, like they you feel the reaction, the sweaty palms, the sweatiness or whatever. There's something that create that there's a reaction there. So if we can look for that, then we can, you know, we realize, oh, that's what it is. It's a trigger. We can change, switch our switch our way of thinking. So anything else before we take our break? Is there another uh, little tip you can give us? Well, 
I would say just to go back to that pattern of emotionally unavailable men and attracting something, something, you know, that same pattern over and over until it, it's going to, it's going to keep coming back and back until you learn the lesson from it. And the lesson that I learned, I learned from having that experience is that that was what I was used to all the male role models in my life were emotionally unavailable. So unconsciously, I was attracted to that kind of person instead of the person this kind, generous of heart, um, you know, communicates, emotionally available. I was just used to it and I didn't realize it. And I said to myself, oh, I'm a victim. I keep attracting these kinds of men without looking within myself. So that's an important part. You know, it's not like you're just there, poor me. It's because there's something that you need to really take a look at and figure it out. That's great advice. You know, I know for myself, I tend to be attracted to like the type A personalities or go getters, the ones that are really great in their career. They're good at what they do. They, mm -hmm. you know, they, they take charge, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is a great deal of those people are, they, they, they don't see the world outside of what they're programmed for. That's you know, right. I don't want to be negative, but it's their program to, you know, be successful, do this, do that, whatever, which is awesome. It's, it's, it's what I love. Right. Mm -hmm. But the reality is they have to also understand the world around them, people that are in their lives, people that love them, people that want to be with them. And so they often also have to learn to be caring and giving and mm -hmm. a lot of other, um, you know, a lot of other skills, you know, that in order to keep, um, to keep the connection alive because often you'll see, and, and I know you're probably seeing it too. We get these long-term marriages and then all of a sudden these divorces, right? Yep. And, and that's because, more and more. Yeah. And you lost that connection from the world outside. You've lost that. And there's other things too that result from that, but you've lost that connection with that person that was on your side. You know, the person that was helping you get through all of those things that you, as you were building your career and doing those things. So, and that's not just for men, that's also for women. You know, we've got high powered women out there working now, <coughs> excuse me. So <laughs> we also, we also have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to share a little bit um, with you, with the audience on how to get a hold of you. So can you do that for us, Donna? Here's your, sure. uh, you can, you can go to my website, it's livingabovetheordinary.com. And you can also um, send an email to me at Donna at livingabovetheordinary.com. I have courses and coaching and, and uh, all kinds of blogs in there that might be useful and helpful to you. So please go there and, and have a look around. Yes, absolutely. I want to be able to share with the audience that you are offering a free book. Um, free ebook today and uh, whatever uh, throughout. So it's a breakup with the past after divorce. And so it's a very long link. And so we won't say what it is, but you can easily go on our goingmedia.com because Donna is an elite. Donna McCall is a, a, an elite with us. So she's got her own page with all of her links and everything readily available. So you just click that, go right in, you know, give your email and sign up for it, and then she'll uh, send you the information on the ebook. Also, I want to make sure I let you guys know she's got a wonderful course out there. It's called Break Up the Past, Take Control of Your Life. So if you are now in the area where you're saying, you know what, I I'm going through turmoil, things are happening to me, I want to not only take care, take control of my life right now, but I want to start moving forward into the future. I want to start creating this path for myself, opening myself up to what being single is like, creating mm -hmm. a new life for myself. She's got a brand new course out there. Um, again, the um, you just go to her website, Living Above the Ordinary, and then it's .teachable.com. And it's a long, uh, a long uh, message, but you can, a uh, long link, but you can, again, go on our site, click on it. And um, she's going to give anybody that's from uh, the Going Solo 
um, network here, she's going to give you 20% off. So you want to use the coupon code going solo, going solo, and then you can get 20% off. I would suggest if you're really stuck, if you feel like you're, you know, you want to start moving forward in your life, I would suggest that you take something like this because it will turn your life around. You'll start to really home in on what it is that you truly want to do. So again, it's break up with the past and that's exactly what we need to do and take control of your life. And so that's a course. So go on living above the ordinary dot teachable dot com. And then again, you could find the link right on our going solo media website, her tab, just click on the elite guest her tab and all the information is there. So thank you, Donna. We're so happy to have you on the show. You are just a blessing. So you are a, a, a retired therapist, right? But you are a, a coach and you help many, many people through these types of situations. So we want to thank you for joining us here today. We are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about moving forward and mm -hmm. creating this new life, which can be extremely exciting as you're moving forward and, and developing a new life for yourself. You know, it's uh, the reins are off. We can actually develop it as we want. And so Donna's going to help us with that when we get back. You guys are listening to the show Going Solo Life After Relationship Sought Loss on WGSN DB Going Solo Network. I'm Cece Schatz, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm John Thomas. I want to share with you a professional products and services directory we call Going Solo Directory. And you need to check this out. If you want exposure to your business or are seeking professional product or services, this directory has it all. And that membership for the many special features, you get the benefit of a worldwide exposure with a 40-minute video interview on an international business show showcase. All this for just one low annual fee. For more information, contact GoingSoloDirectory.com. Well, beautiful. welcome back. <laughs> that you. is beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hey, everyone, you're listening to Going Solo Life After Relationship Loss on WGSN TV. 
Going Solo Network. We are the number one internet single talk network. That's because of you. We thank you for that. We love you so much and uh, we just appreciate you. I am Cece Schatz, the doyen of relationship building. I have with me the survivor and when the thriver after divorce for sure, <laughs> our elite guest, Donna McCall. She knows her stuff. She knows how to get you from you know, really the painful, um, the painful devastation feelings of, of relationship loss through to really surviving it and then building a new life for yourself. The first part of the show, Donna, you could talk to us about, you know, so many things. You talked to us about, you know, uh, developing, uh, you know, our patterns, understanding our patterns, developing a new, a new way of thinking, um, understanding our triggers, how to uh, react and um, rebuild those kind of triggers, how to understand those and, and being able to, to uh, move forward with that. So this part of the show, we're going to talk about thriving. We're going to talk about moving forward into yes. that new single life and developing. And here's the, the kicker I think is wonderful is how many times does someone say to you, you know, I, I can, I can develop a life that I want never. Right. But the reality is they can, can't they? Yeah, they sure can. And with that, let me tell you about it. Okay. First of all, after divorce, um, we're getting into my process now, which is a five, which is a five step process really. And the first part of that is uh, when you, when you've transitioned through divorce, lots of time, you have lots of conflicted feelings and emotions and you're stuck somewhere. Otherwise you would be thriving and moving forward. So what I've done is in my first step of my process, I've developed what I call break up with the past, the road through recovery. And within that, there are five different phases. And it's in, within one of these phases that you might be stuck. For example, um, the, first, the first phase is rejection. Lots of times you're not really dealing with the situation, but sometimes that's just a defense mechanism because your psyche is not ready to handle all those feelings and emotions yet. So you might be stuck there. You might not be um, taking care of loose ends. And so you're more in the denial part of it. The second phase is the, the resentment phase. And that's where I was, where I played the victim. I, have all, I left the emotions in and they were crazy all over the place, blaming people and um, having a pity party for anybody that would listen to me. Mm -hmm. And so I was stuck there. And then the third phase is renegotiation. Oh, if only, uh, maybe if I do this, you know, you're not really still um, coming to terms with the fact that it's over and it's the reality. The fourth phase that you might be stuck could very well be the remorse phase where you're feeling so horrible and, and so regretful and blaming yourself and shame and all that sort of thing that you can't help yourself to move forward. You, you just can't pull yourself out of that. And then the fifth phase is reality where you're ready. And I have little um, assessments that I do to um, other courses and also in the coaching to figure out if you're ready to move on to the next process. So that part right there, we find out where you're stuck and then we create a plan of action to help you to move out of there. And so that's the really hard part of the five step process. Those are the first two steps is finding where you're stuck and then moving you out of there. Then the fun part of it begins. Reconnecting with self is the third part of the process. Who are you now? Because you're certainly different than how you were before. And in that part of the process, it's real important for um, getting harmony and balance in your mind, body, and spirit. So I've created a self-care program for that to find out which area do you need some work to get you to have that energy and, and to feel strong that you're able to begin and step out and thrive in your life again. The second part of that is to create a timeline. I call it a personal life timeline. And it's really the only time you really delve into the past because we want to see we want to see patterns and themes and lessons learned. 
with a um, you know on a piece of paper so you can look at it objectively so that you don't make the same mistakes again. You get to see that. Next, we go on to the fourth part of the process is called reinventing self. That's where we find out what are your strengths, what are your values, and what are your passions, and we meld them all together and we find a sweet spot. An example would be um, one of my clients didn't work outside the home, but she was an amazing cook. And her grandmother had given her all these Sicilian recipes and everybody in the neighborhood just loved her cooking. So what we figured out with her was she started to um, have some cooking classes in her home and that took off. And not only that, she wrote a cookbook for Sicilian cooking and she dedicated it to her grandmother. So that was really cool. So we find out um, wh what is your, what, where are your strengths, uh, values, and passions. And we find if you are um, interested in reinventing yourself. And then the last part of the process is called relaunching yourself. Where do you want to go for the future? So then we take the eight areas of life and we pick an area, not the romance. We're not, we're not doing that yet. We need to first find an area, maybe it could be finances, it could be business, it could be um, uh, self-development, it could be your environment. And we need to make that better and stronger so that it will push out all the other areas of your life. So then you're ready, you're strong and you're powerful and you're ready going solo because you're confident, you have the freedom and the power to start going forward and creating that life. And it's amazing. I did it. And then I, you know, somehow figured out how to put this all into um, a process so that um, others can enjoy the same thing that I'm enjoying now in my life. Yeah. So that's, that's just like a, you know, in a nutshell, really. <laughs> that's wonderful. You know, and, and I will tell you, it's, it's exactly what happened to me is that this whole um, going solo was developed from, you know, from what I went through, the stages and the process and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that, you know, we have wonderful individuals such as yourself that are doing this work that we need to make people aware of it so that they can, you know, if they resonate with you, then they can, they can go to you to get the help that they need. And so again, you have this wonderful course, it's called Break Up With The Past, Take Control Of Your Life, um, quite a long, um, a link to it, but you can go into uh, her website, livingaboveTheOrdinary.teachable.com is where you'll find it. We have a coupon for 20% off. Just make sure you put in going solo so you can get that coupon. And um, you can find the link on our website, goingsolomedia.com. And um, we're just really pleased to be able to highlight you, Donna, and what you do, because it is so true. I mean, you have the passion and the desire to help people, and you're doing it each and every day. So we want to thank you for that. It's an honor to have you on the show here with us. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. I love it. You know, a lot of times we don't realize at the beginning of that painful situation we're in when we lose a relationship, whether it be by um, death or divorce, we don't, re we don't see the end result. We don't see that light at the end of the tunnel, right? Sometimes we, we need some guidance to be able to get there. And then guidance with shaping the life that we want for ourselves, because it is out there. Who, who would have thought I'd be doing what I'm doing today? Not in a million years. Did I ever think I would be here doing something like this? But I love it. I'm happy. I'm, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's been my survival. And so People and you're thriving. Are, you're thriving. I am. I am thriving. I'm like, and then I was just thinking, you know, at the end of what you were saying, it's like when you get to the point where you've done that self-development and you're you're thriving, you're starting to feel good about yourself. You're at, um, you know, done this self-discovery. You're 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 really doing very well. What happens is it raises your vibration every time you do something like this that helps yourself. You raise your vibration higher and higher. What happens is is that people at that high life of vibration will be attracted to you. So what you don't want to do is raise your vibration up and be, you know, down here. You know, you don't want to meet someone down here. You want to raise that vibration up and meet them at the same level that That's you right. want someone at. You want someone at this level with you. 
And if they're if they still have a lot of self help, that's fine. They can keep on working on the self help. But if you're here, you need to you need to to be there and and keep moving forward in your life. So thriving is. Is truly wonderful. Well, we're going to have to close out the show. I hate to do that because I love having you on. We could talk probably forever about this subject, and there's zillion million tips you can give us. I know, <laughs> but let's um, let's let's uh, ask you for one more, um, you know, a bit about yourself, comment or whatever you'd like to share with the audience. Um, one more comment. Well, I would say that. Think about this. This is my mantra, and I use it all the time. When sometimes, if I'm, you know, feeling down, not really, not now, but before, and it's called um, "I'm a new life builder." I push forward despite the past. I create a plan. I take action. I reconnect with who I am now. I reinvent who I want to become. And I relaunch where I want to go. I live above the ordinary. Thank you. Wow, that is so wonderful. I mean, that is truly, truly wonderful. What a gift you are, for sure. You know, I've often said is that where you are today is not where you're going to be tomorrow, right? You're, you're, <laughs> yes. you're going to be continuing changing. So who I was yesterday is not who I am now, nor who I'm going to be. And so that is so spot on. I just so love you. And it's just great. So again, Donna McCall, she is a uh, an elite with us. Her last name is spelled M-C-G-O-F-F. And I want to make sure you guys get her uh, email. Send her an email. Let her know that you saw the show today and what you think. And if there's anything that she can help you with, just email Donna, D-O-N-N-A, at living, L-I-V-I-N-G, above, A-B-O-V-E, the, T-H-E, ordinary o-r-d-i-n-a-r-a-r-y dot com and again it's living above the ordinary dot com don't you want to do that i mean i really think that is a terrific name for our website living above the ordinary i mean let's let's really embrace our lives and create the space that we want let's live like we you know like we've never lived before and create that path you know it show others that yeah we can move forward we can do it we can do it the way we want to do it again she's offered a free book uh ebook for us it's a break up with the past after divorce all you have to do is go on our going solo media.com click the link there that's probably the easiest thing to do mm -hmm. you can uh, pause the video you can write down the link that we have here but just go on goingsolomedia.com. You'll see all of her information. Click on there. She's also on our Going Solo directory. Her information is there too. You don't want to miss this course that she has. It's Break Up With The Past. Take control of your life. If I can suggest anything to you, it's taking control of your life, moving forward in mm -hmm. that very positive way. And again, you can go on our website, livingaboveTheOrdinary.com teachable.com or just you know again go to our going solo media.com and click the link make sure you put in your going solo and you'll get 20 percent off which is really a great a great deal for us so thank you so much donna for sharing You're that welcome we love you it's great we're looking forward to having you back on again because we've got um, lots of other questions to ask you and as we're developing our life you know we're, we're going to be constantly evolving so we mm -hmm. definitely want you to help us with that so we thank you very much for all that you do you're welcome thank you cc for having me on the show Oh, it I'd is love great. to come back again. Oh, we can't wait to have you. All right, you guys, we got to wrap it up. But of course, you guys were listening to Going Solo Life After Relationship Loss on WGSN DB Going Solo Network. We're a uh, TV podcast and a radio station. We are the number one internet singles talk network. All our information you can find right there up there on goingsolomedia.com all of our wonderful hosts and guests and everyone that's there that helps us out you can find all the information there email me at goingsolonetwork at gmail.com i personally read all of your emails and i'll answer you back so if you want to uh send me a message go ahead and then of course our singles information is goingsolonetwork.com we got a lot of new things happening we're stepping out we're going bold so we've got a we've got a new site called going bold connection and uh, we're going to be we're going to be actually combining all of that with another brand new site 
called My Friends Connect. So I hope that you'll check that out. All of our wonderful elites will be on that. They'll be there with uh, blogs and uh, information for you so that you can truly, truly connect and make friends along the way. So we've got a lot cooking, a lot going on, and a lot of living to do. So we want to thank again our wonderful guests, Survive and Thrive After Divorce, our elite guests, Donna McCall. She showed us how to do it today. We're going to talk a little bit more with her next time. Her website is living above the ordinary. Don't be, you know, don't be the same person. <laughs> Live above the ordinary. Be something different. Do something different. Right. Right. I love that. All right, you guys got to wrap it up. Bye. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye Thank guys. you.